Hey everyone, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys the long-awaited NRM tutorial for WWE 2K22 modding and I'm going to be showing you how to turn 19 normals into the 22 format and I'm also going to be showing you how to make normals from scratch if you're doing your own texture work over on 22. Now I'm going to go ahead and preference this right in the beginning just so that I don't get clowned on it in the comments at the end by some experienced modders. Uh, this is just how to generate normals, uh, and generated normals are always going to look bad compared to drawn ones, but if you are a starter and beginner modder, it will definitely make your stuff look way better, and it will, it will, it'll make it look decent, basically. It'll look passable. Uh, I go over how to actually make it, and then, uh, how to make it look better when you touch it up in Photoshop. Which, by the way, this leads me to another thing. Uh, all the things that you're going to need are going to be listed in the description with links. And then I'll also put them on the screen. I can list a couple right now if you need. Uh, you're going to need Photoshop. Uh, you're going to need Paint.net. You are going to need some plugin. And I believe that's about it. If I'm forgetting anything, I'll put it in the description or up on the screen. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so of course, the first thing you want to do is have your base color texture, which you can always make in Photopea. I use Photopea specifically just because I don't use Mudbox or anything like that for texturing. Uh, and then you can also projection paint in a Blender, which I guess also works. Uh, it just sometimes might not look the best. But once you have your base color texture, like something like this for a CM Punk mod, once you have something like this, then you export it as a TIFF and then you bring that into Photoshop. All right, so now that you're in Photoshop, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open the texture that you wanna edit. I guess you could also do this in Photopea. You just have to find out how exactly to do it. I, I'll see if I could try to sneak it in here while in this tutorial. All right, so once you got the texture open here in Photoshop, you're gonna wanna do Shift Control S to save. And in this case, I'm going to save it as underwear NRM2 and then press enter. And then we're going to go to 3DC using normal map, normal map settings, convert to tangent space normal map, press OK, and then save. And then now for this part, you're also going to need paint. I probably should have added that in the beginning. I'll, I'll probably make a new intro just to sh show you guys how, what you need. So you're going to come over here, go into your file, and then drag this underwear normal that you just made, drag it into paint, open it, go to adjustments, and invert the colors. And then press Control S to save. Save using BC3 linear or BC1. I don't think it really matters because you're going to change the format uh, in a bit. Also generate mip maps and then error metric on uniform. And then press OK. Now that you've done that, go back into Photoshop. And then go to open. And then get this normal map loaded in. And then you're also going to want to load up the color. We're going to need both of these. So now once you've done this and you got this loaded up, Go into channels, and then now you have your blue and alpha. I'll go ahead and tell you what these two channels do really quick. Blue normally is your roughness map. Uh, I believe it tells you what is shiny and what is, or what is reflective and what is non-reflective. And I'm pretty sure the lighter it is, the, so if it's like pure white, then it's less reflective and if it's black, it's reflective. I think that's how it goes. Okay, so yeah, white means no shine and the darker it is, it means that there's more shine. So that's what the blue does and then alpha controls which material it's going to be so it like leather metallic look uh plastic look and whatever so on and so forth you'd have to toy around with this uh but yeah normally your roughness map would go into blue if anybody knows what the green and red do then go ahead and let everybody know so i'm going to show you how to make the roughness map really quick uh this will help in selecting specific parts to be changed on the normal so head over to your color and then you're going to want to do image mode, grayscale, and then discard, and then control I to invert, and then control A, control C, and then come back over here to your normal, go to the blue channel, and then control V to paste. And now that right there is your roughness map. So as you can see, it only has specific parts selected. So we have our white on the actual underwear itself, which makes it non-reflective. But then we have these parts right here, which we want to be reflective at least a tiny bit. Now you can also use the paint bucket to go ahead and toy around with these selected parts to change them. And then you could also do the same thing over here in the alpha. If you paste in the, uh, the roughness map here, you can also change the color of this, I guess. 
in the uh, alpha. But I don't like doing that. I just like changing the alpha normally to 60. Uh, but you can always do that. So now once you've done that, you just want to select this. It should look something like this. And then you're going to do control S to save. And then now in this drop down, we're going to go to DXT5. And then we're going to go into normal map settings and then un uncheck the convert to tangent space normal map. And then press OK and save. And then so yeah, once you have that done, it should be right here. It should look kind of like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it looks on a character. So where the hell is CM Punk right here? All right, so we go ahead and go ahead and try this out on the Dynamite Arena. Oh, look, we're in Los Angeles. We're going to go ahead and load it up, and I'm going to show you how it looks on CM Punk. Be sure to grab the Trash to Gold uh, AEW Arena on CC Mods. The link will be in the description of the video. And then, yeah, there you go. We have it looking like this. Now, of course, after seeing it in game, I would go ahead and make some changes to it just because I don't really like how shiny the uh, the parts are. So I definitely go back and make those a less definitely make these these uh, logos a lot more white just so that they're less reflective. Uh, but yeah, this is showing how to make these normals off of scratch. All right. So now as far as updating WW2K19 normals go, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so for this example, I'm going to be using uh, Bronx's old CM Punk pack for 19, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to update the normals. So he has this, what the hell is it? This underwear normal right here. Uh, what you do if you're trying to use this if in 22 and you're doing a port, then you go to the channels and you go to the alpha. It really just change the alpha and the blue. Uh, the alpha I would make something like 60 and then of course with the blue you could always just get the whole thing by doing control L and then just lower down this This like this this will work in game and it'll look just fine And yeah, that's basically how you do it for 19 and it should look and work exactly the same But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching If you did go on to enjoy today's video and find it very helpful, please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe We are nearing 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the support and then be sure to Go to CC Mods to get your mods because fuck PWM. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.